Oh my gosh. Okay, here we are, third week without Chris. Chris forsook us. <laughs> what? Chris forsook us. What does that mean? It's like he's forsaken us. Can you tell me what that means? Like he Is that left like us. a Bible terminology? He left us. Like if we were in Jurassic Park and we were the kids in the car. He left us. This time it's not health related. He is doing a lot better. Thank God. Yeah. Um, but he it, he's had this planned, this absence from our show planned. The forsakenings. For about a month now. He's in New Nashville. Nashville shooting uh some sort of something for somebody Ooh, else top secret i mean i don't know what it is i i know it's a well i don't even know what it is so i'm not going to speak on what it is if it's not what i think it is right so um he'll be back with us in two weeks <laughs> which means curious what you think it he'll is. have a month do you know what it is if you don't I know have it, just feeling- scream it Oh, I don't know. I just have a feeling, too. Oh, okay. Well, both of our feel. God damn. And of course, we have the Also, am I a little quiet? I wish you would wear headphones again. Oh. It's a lot of pressure to put on me to be the only one in the room with a headphone on. You feel like you're quiet? I feel like I'm quiet, but also, like, I'm sure that some people appreciate that about me today. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like you've been single-handedly carrying this podcast with your pregnancy, <sighs> which is fine. We we go through seasons in our lives yeah, where, so. uh, like, when my, our surrogate was pregnant, I feel like I was nonstop, just never yeah. shutting up. But your story ability, your storytelling abilities have been spot on. I think it's because I'm in a constant rage state, and, and I'm really good when I'm in rage. What's crazy about me right now is I've gone a very long period of time where I'm not pissed off at anybody. It's like nobody has done me wrong. In this past week normally what i do when we when i'm like sitting down before we record this podcast i look through my photos from the last week yeah and that will spark like oh that's who i need to take down this week because that's what happened and i was like wow i just had a fantastic summer week i mean you had a pretty cute fucking week all that happened the uh, all of a sudden in Los Angeles, it decided it was going to be summer. June gloom went away uh-huh. and it's been hot. 85 degrees at 8 a.m. with blue skies and sunshine. I'm dying. And although it is almost miserably hot, I welcome it because I just think, thank God it's summer. Well, in like my dumbass mind, I was like shooting for a 4th of July baby because I was like, oh, I'll be so cute and pregnant during the summer. Do you know what's not cute? Being pregnant during the summer. Like it's awful. I don't I didn't know like people were like no it's gonna be awful it's gonna be hot and I was like no I love being hot it's like this is different <laughs> Joe came in the kitchen today I was like is it hot in here or am I just pregnant and he's like it's like really cold in here I'm like I'm really hot <laughs> I'm really hot. Can you go get the AC unit and plug it in, please? And the toxic thing about this is you're so hot and you're still begging for a heating pad. I know. It's pathetic because it's the only thing that makes the rib pain go away. Oh, my gosh. Also, I see people in the comments saying, like, Rylan needs to give her some pillows. No pillow helps. What? This is an only the only thing that helps relieve the pain in my rib is heat. If you were uncomfortable, though, wouldn't it be on you to be like, hey, Rylan, I need four, four yeah, more pillows? Yeah, that's the other thing. I have... N- No, I have a history of never having a problem asking for anything (laughs) to the point where you guys get mad at me asking for that. And as a man who uh, has never been pregnant, it's hard for me to know what kind of pillow or angle will help a pregnant woman. I got pillows, guys. I got pillows for days up in this bitch. Nothing. But like literally nothing helps with the rib pain. It's just a pre-existing back injury that's inflamed by the pregnizone. No. What is the progesterone? Yeah progesterone's the hormone Do you have scar tissue from a back injury i must but it's a muscle it's so it's like um i hurt my lower left lumbar and it didn't heal properly and so when that what is it called progesterone when i start whatever the p word is for a hormone that you get when you get pregnant I think that's it it start it inflames things and so it inflamed my back injury and mm. this is so boring but because my back injury is inflamed it's pulling on my ribs on this side so my ribs oh are basically my being pulled out of place and down and it feels like torture this all might be day. very woo of me but maybe you should try some acupuncture I should probably because when I had my back thing I really did feel like that unblocked some things and my mom for so long has been thinking her knee replacement was too big she just kept saying it's so big it's so big and I have a neighbor in Colorado that does acupuncture and I was talking to her about it and she was like just send her to me and I'll be honest with her like if I don't think I can help I will tell her she needs to go (laughs) I'll be honest with her I'll tell her if her knee's too fucking big (laughs) (laughs) no seriously she was like I'll tell her if there's something I can't help if she needs to go get it replaced 
again, which would be a nightmare scenario. But she had gotten her knee replaced now much Years. over a year ago. Yeah. And it's just still wasn't feeling better. So she finally went to the acupuncturist. And just with two sessions, she's already like, I feel <gasps> like it was scar tissue, even though she did all the physical therapy so regimented. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's the right word. Um, she was very a stickler about the physical therapy, but she said even with two sessions, she's feeling relief that she hasn't felt in a very long time. I'm so, really glad to hear that because I've, I've noticed your mom struggling with the recovery of that knee thing for so long. I'm like, awful. we should sue them and burn the hospital. Well, she down. literally went and got the knee replacement because she knew she had grandchildren coming mm -hmm. and she wanted to be more mobile without pain. And she's been in more pain post knee yeah. surgery than she had before. And she's like, I should have never had it because I was better off before. Joe's mom had the same surgery and she's, she is better off. So when your mom was going in for it, I was like, Oh, great choice. Great yeah. choice. Joe needs the surgery. He just hasn't gone in for it. I guess it all depends. I mean, even a great surgeon, I'm sure one out of every five, ten surgeries don't take yeah, as Yeah, everybody intended. is different. Mm. So everybody's recovery is different. So in the summer in Los Angeles, I think it's actually, wow, isn't that crazy how that what? works? It's officially summer, but Los Everywhere, Angeles right? also decided the weather was summer. Yeah, it, like early. Just boom. Yeah, usually summer. it's not till July that it gets hot like It was this. gloomy as hell every day until noon, and then it just turned into being 90 degrees. But with that, we decided it was the perfect opportunity to put the boys in the pool for the first time, and it was so cute. They're water babies. It was so cute. I mean, Jet was... Ah, whatever about it. He wasn't. He didn't complain. He didn't cry. He didn't even fuss. But he was just like... Max. Unimpressed. That man was like, put me on my stomach. Let me tread the water. Let me, I mean, obviously I'm like holding him up. Are they slippery? I keep asking you this. What you don't do you hear mean? Me. I, no, I don't understand. Are they slippery? Like in the pool? Like, yeah. did I feel like I had a loose grip? Yeah. Because, no, um, I didn't feel that way. I keep worrying about grabbing my baby in the bathtub or in the shower and being like, this motherfucker's slippery. No, I didn't have that. They're issue. not slippery. That's good to know. I just, I don't know. I don't have a baby yet. I just want to know, like, when and where is he going to be slippery? <laughs> They're more slippery right after the bath when you're putting all the oils right. and lotions and stuff on their bodies. But not in the pool. I didn't have that issue good myself. Grip. <laughs> yeah, maybe I just have a good dry grip. Well, I was worried about it. that's why I kept sending you little carriers that you can wear with them in the pool because I was like, they're probably slippery. Well, we got all those things. We got the ones where. There, it's a shaded. You put them in, and it's kind of like the toys they already have that kind of help them stand where they can be a DJ and where they hit it, DJ. Um, <laughs> that's that's what we all tell Jet when we put him in his DJ booth. Yeah, it's like this little thing that he stands in, and there's a DJ table, and he loves it. He just will play in that thing for on a good day, 25 to 30 minutes with just the biggest smile. And we always put him in there. We say, "Hit it, DJ," and, and he goes. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, but like Jet is my foodie. He's obsessed with food. He's obsessed with being a DJ. And Max is <laughs> my swimmer, you know? Yeah. He could not get out of that pool. He was just like, I could be in here all day. And Shane and I were just having the best time. Maxie Phelps. With Max in the pool. Yeah. I love that. And Jet has hit this. Max took a little longer with the solid foods to understand the concept of swallowing. He'd put it in his mouth. He'd like the taste. Right. And he'd shove it back out because I don't think he grasped the concept of swallow. Didn't you say that that's a natural reflex that some babies have? That's what the tongue tie that I think is associated to help the babies latch on the breast is also the thing that like, I think I was told or I read is the thing that also makes them push, make, the food makes out. Them push it out. So he's in the last week decided he wants to swallow his food and that's been very fun. Ooh. But Jet is like food is life. life I fed is Jet food. one time. And this man, he's gotten to this stage. I, I don't know if I already talked about this on the podcast, but you even like after his last bite, you go to grab another and he just sticks Jet? his tongue out waiting for the next. So now in like last night, I, I was eating dinner while I was pushing them in the stroller because it wasn't their bedtime yet, but I was already hungry. And they thought watching me eat was the most entertaining thing in the world because now they're so <laughs> curious. They're just looking at me eating. Yeah. And I put it close to Jet's face and he went, he wanted it. What was it. it? It was a burrito. I was like, I oh, can't give you can't this give burrito. The burrito. And then Shane goes, well, he loves bananas. Let's see if like even putting the banana to him. Shane like puts the banana in front of his face. He goes, Oh, baby. He wants to eat it. So then I felt bad that I was pranking him. So I just gave him a little bit of yogurt. Nice. Yeah. I love that for him. So that was my week. So cute. <laughs> 
I do love getting those little updates. They're very cute. <laughs> well, I send you. You're probably the victim. Because I wouldn't say I was a victim. I, I just, love it. All day long, I send Lizzie photos because I don't really post them to Instagram that yeah. much. So I just like send them to Lizzie all day. I probably, like, honestly, I might not see them if you posted offline. them on Instagram. <laughs> So I appreciate being sent them. Mm -hmm. I really, they're so, it's crazy how big they get and how quickly it happens. And it makes me sad. You're so crazy though. You're like, I can't wait till they're 29. Uh, well, I see all the moms crying at the end of every stage. They're like, oh, it's the end of this. Yeah. And I'm like, I can't wait. I obviously enjoy it while it's happening. Yeah. But every stage to me gets so much more fun. Like they're more aware. It's just all so much more fun. So I'm not sad to see that go. And it all, honestly. You smile because it happened. Yes. I'm like, yeah. that was fun. That was cute. This is even so much more fun. So I'm not upset that it's over i think maybe at three i'll start being like i wish the clock would stop i wish yeah. the clock would stop right now when i think about like our third child it's like a little too close i'm like wow we just got over all these like we've decided uh, we're stacking our babies what do you we've mean? talked about this well i've told you if you chill your monkey butt out i girl what i cannot chill my monkey butt out well i'm talking about your moving scenario well and i said if you Pump the brakes as the boss of your household. I will have my, I will get, I will get pregnant the same time that you get pregnant okay. with your daughter. Okay. And it will be like, we're carrying at the same time. Yeah. Even though I can't carry. No, it'll be like we're carrying at the same time. <laughs> Also, Joe keeps looking, he's like, oh, you poor thing. And it's like, I'd still do it over and over again. I really would. Well, I going... just have a feeling there's no way it can be worse the next time. <laughs> I'm like, there's no way it gets worse than this. My favorite too is what I told my friend Katie, who has two kids. I was like, no, I want to do them back to back. It's like if I'm gonna get shot in the hand, I want to get shot. Boom, boom, same hole. She's like, no, that is literally not how your body works in pregnancy. And I'm like, you don't know shit. I'm well, gonna be cute all summer and pregnant. And it's like, no, I'm miserable and even, I'm hot. Even I'm too. I mean. The thing is, even with like my hat off to all these parents or stay at home parents out there, because yeah. it's like, even if your child's having a fantastic day, like I was telling Lizzie this yesterday, the dishes for the bottles, the laundry, the cleaning, Hold the on. what? I literally told Ryland last night, I was like, I'm having a panic attack. I told you this before you said you were no, having a panic attack. Doesn't matter. Yes, I did. I don't care. I said, I'm having a panic attack. He said about when I was like being a mom, dude. And he goes, it's a lot. <laughs> Think about all the diapers and the food and the laundry and the cleaning and baths. Oh, and no. There's all these things that never ends. But then I followed up by saying, but if you're ever just like at a breaking point, you are always allowed to drop that little boy off at my house. Thank God. You know? Yeah. You can just say like, I need a break. There's already <laughs> babies at my house. So it's like. Just drop kick him across the just fucking be like, 101. Just stay here for a few hours. It's like yeah. somebody, if it's not me, is caring for babies. So yeah. it's like. Someone will care for somebody him. Somebody will care for him this if like you just fire need department. a break. <laughs> just, this is the place where I just put him in the little the little box and nobody asks questions it's like, but it's like even on a great day when the boys are in the best mood just the laundry the dishes the making the food the preparing the food the diaper changes the clothing changes it's like it's exhausting work yeah. and then the energy you spend well, entertaining like, and being engaging can and, he be naked like why am i why can't he be naked he can be just a diaper like even yeah. when we went swimming i have so many swimsuits for the babies and i was like fuck the swimsuits they have a swim diaper on why would right. i do another step right it's like I'm for not their doing modesty that. with their <laughs> like what they're four weeks old <laughs> i'm fine <laughs> oh, i mean it's so cute and it's so fun and it is everything and at the end of every night once the kids are down shane and i we both airplay our photos that we have taken of the boys from that day on the tv we're like sitting watching the monitors and we're just like what did you get today and we go through shane's camera roll of the boys and then we go through my camera roll of the boys and we just talk about like how this is the best thing ever even though like yes parents need a break and yeah, like you're hard. crazy and you're wild everything they say is sure it's like you you so desperately want a break and then you get a break and you're just like looking at how cute your yeah. baby is i love that so i um in the past i had said that i wanted my baby to have at least my eyes and now when i look at joe i'm like i hope him has his eyes that's very cute i love joe's eyes and i love him so much joe's being really good really good yeah 
Oh, wait. No, we did a birthing class and they were like, we, we do the birthing class every Sunday. And I, the this one started, they were like, each partner write five things that you appreciate that your partner is doing to support this pregnancy. And Joe like looked over at my page and I just had like, I'd filled the page. I, I'd gone to, you know, eight or nine numbers like of the items of things that he does that I just appreciate so much before she called time. And it's like, I am very lucky. Like he rubs me for two to three hours a day. That's wild. It is wild. I stick, and I'm a <laughs> about it. I stick. Oh, sorry. Oh, jeez. Fifteen. I have to write it down because Chris <laughs> isn't here. Fifteen. <laughs> 1527 um i like stick my foot in shane's face and like hope that he does it for longer than 10 seconds <laughs> yeah no joe does it for hours that's crazy and it honestly because it really helps my and back what makes you mad about it that it ends oh <laughs> Or like the other night he went to get himself ice cream and I was like, are you really getting ice cream right now? Because it's going to hinder my rub. <laughs> and he was like, are you joking? I said, no, I am not joking. It's a thankless job he's got. And I'm very blessed. Super blessed, as a matter of fact. Um, but yeah, and also like I had this fantasy in my mind, like ever since I was a teenager and saw Teen Mom, I'm like, all these bitches get cars when they get pregnant. Like, everyone gets an SUV when they're pregnant. Like, it just happens. It's like these families don't have money, but somehow they get a new car. And I've like, I've never had that. And then Joe, like, got us a new car. It's really cute. It is really cute. He Joe wanted a, big, wanted a daddy car. So he named it Baby Boy. Really? Uh -huh. Baby Boy? Yeah. It's so cute. I greeted. Uh, Max was in, like, a great happy mood right when Lizzie was pulling up. So I, like, I, did, I was too late. Because when you had opened the gate, I stuck just Max out of the garage. So your vocal, your viewpoint was just Max going like this out of the garage and you didn't see it. So oh, then I shoved I'm, him in your window. I appreciate that. I'm literally like dead. <laughs> I see nothing. Because in the Tesla, sometimes if you're not looking where they want you to look, it'll like beep. The whole way here, it was like beep, 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 beep. But I was like, swear to God, I'm looking out the window. <laughs> like but i'm like oh i am physically crumbling um i'm gonna to say one more thing and then we have a lot for you oh no uh, and here's the craziest thing i thought i had nothing to talk about this yeah. week no, you've been uh, busy. my boys stranger danger has kicked in to the highest degree and when i'm looking it's like oh yeah this is the time period where it kicks in the people he sees very frequently shane's brother you he both my babies are just uh not having it no he was a little better with you today though but the other day jared had come over and i like hand J to jared and he's just like looks at jared looks at me and then loses his mind it's the best video i've actually seen of a baby and stranger danger well because then we put him in the car after so then then we like pivoted and with the other baby i was like okay i'm gonna face the baby towards me while i hand him and so then i do that and that works for a couple of minutes until Max looks over and realizes he's being held by fuck? somebody else. He'll like look back at me and then he'll be like, this is not chill. And Who then starts crying. Bitch? So yeah. we're in their like in their nursery playing. We got them this new car that they loved because it's at their doctor's office and they had such a blast in it. So we put him in the car. He's having a great time only looking at the car and Shane. He like hits the horn and it like is a horn with yeah. noises and he thought it was so funny and then we all started laughing and then Jared's laugh was loud so he realized Jared was in the room saw Jared looked at Shane and had a full blown meltdown because he was like I don't know that person in my room but he does know Jared yeah. it's just like overnight it just kicked in where they're like the people they don't see You're every not day my dad! Are, uh, are are scary to them yeah. so it's just they're funny man i like it though i like that there's like some i like that you can like even though he's crying at me i just it's, he has an opinion do you know <laughs> what i mean and i'm into that i love an opinionated little the baby. secret is for you to be around while i'm holding and then about like eight to ten minutes of you mm -hmm. just being around then it works we, and also i think i was wearing sunglasses which probably stressed him out yeah and usually i hold him in his nursery this is in a car. It was like I was taking him. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck are we doing in here? Who is uh, this? Okay, I don't even know where to start with you. Why? First Ugh. of all, you're dreaming about me naked. No. You're really going to try to just go right over this? I tell you things in confidence as a friend and you bring them to the internet. I don't know why this is off limits. Because it's awful. 
What part about it was awful? Dreaming about you naked. Period. I mean, what was the context? I still don't well, think I had the Well, it was really weird. We were things. like in an airport and you kept like pulling your pants down, but then being weird about it. And I was like, stop it. And also you're being really weird. And then we would like look out a window and see Shane sitting like on like, you know how like there's curbs like in the gutter. Mm -hmm. Shane was like sitting on a curb in the gutter. Was he naked? No, he was just like, you could tell like he felt like he was being cheated on. And you kept pulling your butt out around me. And I was like, this has to stop. So it was butt only? You didn't get a full frontal shot? No, it was butt only. It was awful. Oh, like, I don't want to look bad. at you and talk about it. <laughs> it was too much. The vibe of the whole thing was like way too much. <laughs> I was like, Bleh. I feel like she's holding back, but whatever. Only because they're on the internet and it was yucky. It was not yucky. It was yucky. Okay. <laughs> Lizzie has... And I have <laughs> you defending your naked self in my dream as not yucky is too much. <laughs> it was not yucky. If I know anything about my dream butt, is it's yummy. <laughs> Was well, was it like firm and perky or was it no, saggy? It was like, no, like your whole energy was yucky. Like it was like really <laughs> aggressive and it was the wrong place in the wrong time and you were being awful. It was I'm sorry, it was yucky. I told you. <laughs> See, this isn't what I was expecting. The way you were just saying, I can't say this on the internet made it sound like you were having sexual fantasies about me and now it turned into me being yucky. Sorry. Sorry, friend. So I think you've turned this for the internet's point of view. I you think she was really having say. sex dreams about me and she just can't admit it on the internet because she's married with a baby on the way. Who could ever really say? Anyways, I caught Lizzie in a huge lie this week. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. I literally did. Okay, sound off in the comments below. Do you guys remember when I was talking about how I got a glucose test hella early in the pregnancy and I was like, what the fuck is this shit? And they were like, we're going to level you out. You get one at the beginning and then one at the oh, end. Oh, hella early in the pregnancy. Yeah. This is like week 10 that's pretty early in the pregnancy i know but 41 weeks i know are you sure that was a glucose test yes positive yeah well you said they made me get a second glucose test and yeah. so i was thinking like one week ago you got a glucose no. test you didn't pass and you were getting a second one immediately no. i didn't think we were talking 12 weeks ago yeah 12 weeks ago oh. at least no more than 12 weeks ago so you had the big glucose 19 test. weeks ago what what week are you now great question like 23 24 no like 25? 29 what the hell yeah no you're not pull yeah. out your app right now <sighs> you know i hate this app that's crazy <laughs> you know i hate this app <laughs> the way you never believe you're three fourths of the way yeah, in your pregnancy dude. yeah oh my god yeah and why this, do you think i'm having panic attacks i'm tripping this thing's popping too like every yeah, this bit my titties are out again <laughs> I can't get my life together. Every time I see you, which is multiple times a week, that boy has popped out even further. It's and nuts. it's like, oh my God. Yeah. Where's he going to go from here? I don't know, honestly. That's, I'm tripping. I am tripping scared. Do you think Hailey Bieber's just as uncomfortable as you? Um, I would hope not. Because she's looking so fabulous. <laughs> she's looking so fabulous. And Justin Bieber's looking like Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber's looking like a bear beat ass. Uh, a what? Scrub. Honestly, he's my fashion inspiration. I know, he's my full blown fashion icon just because what he wears is so like uncool. Is but that he why wears it with such confidence. Your Apple Watch is on your ankle right now. I, is that why? Elizabeth Gordon. Sorry. I feel trapped with it. I I never got used to it on my wrist. Yeah. I always felt trapped and claustrophobic. Do you want to show them? I mean, it's pretty He's on house arrest it ladies. does look very much like i'm on house arrest even when i showed up at the doctor's <laughs> office the other day for the boys i was like i looked down and i thought oh it's not a very cute look out but i'd rather know my stats than take it off you should put a sock over it it will be nice in the winter once or i'm wearing scarf. pants try a little bow yeah <laughs> i gotta dress it up a little yeah. or like shane dazzle it. shane's doing it too and he wears ankle socks and his is all black so it disguises itself yeah. mine just looks like i'm actually on house arrest yeah which jared told me People on house arrest have to pay for the yeah, house device, yeah. the device, and it's a lot of money, like fifty yeah. to a hundred dollars a day. Same with the interlock device on your car if you get a DUI. That's crazy. Yeah, wow. don't break the law. It's expensive. It's expensive to break the law. It's expensive. Um, so, how was the glucose test? You Awful. drank the sugary drink, and then yeah. how long were you there being monitored before they told you your results? An hour. So the first time I did it, they were like. No one told me shit about it. Nobody was like, it's awful. I still think whatever, whoever did to you in your early pregnancy was wrong. It, I concur. Because none of my other friends have had two glucose tests. And all of them have had babies. 
And they, I was like, and I said that to the doctor and she was like, well, we'd like to know where you start so that when we have, when you get to a certain point, we like to know somewhere to compare it. And I'm like, well, I guess that makes sense. So the first time I do it, I drink it and I'm like sat down in the chair for them to draw my blood. And I went, would it be weird if I threw up right now? And he goes, no, super normal. Hands me a bag. I was like, they should tell a bitch it's going to fuck their shit up before she comes here. Cause I would have asked for someone to come with me and drive me. Mm. Um, so this time I prepared, like I went online. I was like, what's a girl to do? I can't believe you didn't tell me about this at all. Girl, I told you done. about this. You didn't tell me like I'm getting my glucose. That's a huge point in pregnancy. Oh, uh, and oh. you weren't like, well, I'm I mean, going to get I guess my glucose I'd already dosed. done it. I wasn't feeling like it was a big point. Do you know what I mean? Cause to do it twice, you're like, I'm going to die. Okay. Right. And also like, you know, Kate's facing her due date. Like it's any day. So I'm like, it feels like everything that's going on for me is a little bit less severe because you have a friend going into yeah. labor. Okay. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I, I prepped for it. I went online. I was like, what, what can I do? They, you can't really do much though, but I had a glass of cow's milk before I went in. Also, I like cow's milk now. I'm like drinking cow's milk. You know what made me want cow's milk? I'm on a real These big titties. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm on a real big apple fritter kick <gasps> after I discovered them on Shane's birthday. Yeah. And that makes me want cow's milk. And I haven't had real milk in probably ten years. Oh, I have Joe like heating me up milk before bed. And I'm like <laughs> suckling it down, reading my little sexy stories on my Kindle. <laughs> it's sick. I'm a sick girl. <laughs> Oh, also, my mother-in-law bought me a, or, so my mother-in-law mailed us a book that Joe's had since birth, and it was a gift to him from the doctor that delivered him, and it's, like, signed on the inside. It's a Shel Silverstein book. Oh, that is very This Is Us. It is very This Is Us. It's really cute, and my mother-in-law sent it because she watches the podcast. She's like, maybe you should read this to the baby instead of the stories about sons who kill their families. <laughs> By the way, finish that book. Spoiler alert. The son did not do it. Wow. Yeah. It was uh, one of Gillian Flynn's weaker novels. Like, it wasn't as fun as Gone Girl and Sharp Objects. But Dark Places, you know, I stumbled through it because I wanted to finish a book that I had started. And uh, the reveal of it is just like, oh, fuck you, Jillian. Do you think that baby should uh, experience Inside Out too? Yeah. Okay. We watched Inside Out 1 together. You did? Yes. Do you think we could go to Inside Out 2 together? If today? I can bring my heating pad. Not today. I have <laughs> no. to edit my vlog. You people, I've left my people waiting for a vlog for a week. I got to give them something this You're week. You're pregnant and the baby wants Inside Out 2. I know he really does. If I can bring my heating pad, he's down. I think I got to wait for it to be in the house though. I don't know that I can sit for an hour in a theater right now. It's awful. Ugh, I can't do anything fun with you. We could get those ah! heating pan. We could get those little hand heaters that people wear use when they're snowboarding uh -huh. and we could try that. I'll heat you up. <laughs> I mean, I'll this is this is the uh, yucky energy of the dream. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? Like, it's not not sexual, but it is yucky and it is aggressive. <laughs> anyway, I drank a glass of milk. I had a hard boiled egg. Then I went in and got the blood draw and I had a bag of raw almonds or I don't know if there were. Did you raw. not have to drink the sugary drink? Oh, of course I had to drink the sugary okay. drink. How does it taste? Disgusting. If you were to review it like a sip food item. It's like if we went and got a fountain drink, but the fountain syrup was not like measured properly or adequately. And it, there was way too fucking much of like it. Like 90% Do you syrup? remember when I got that fake margarita at Chili's the mm -hmm. other day? And it was like so fucking sweet. And yeah. it made us want to die. That's what it is. Okay. And it's awful. It's so sweet. It burns your throat like vodka on the mm -hmm. way down. But they keep it chilled, so that's nice. <laughs> and I instantly got flushed, and I was like, uh, is it cool if I just go sit in my car? And they're like, yeah, just like let us know if you puke. And I was like, will do. <laughs> so I like went to the car, went back up, got my blood draw. Really quick and painless. And all my levels are super normal. No diabetes, not, no anemia. Also, <laughs> when... When we went to the appointment, you'll remember a few episodes back, I told you guys that I felt more comfortable lying to the doctor and saying I cheated on my husband than telling her that I masturbated. Yeah. That's 30 it? minutes. Oh, fuck. Our camera's going to roll out. If you watched last week, you know our camera rolled out because Chris isn't <laughs> here and we were still having a fight about Kim Kardashian. So we've we'll, got a breakdown. We'll, be, we'll right be right back. back. <laughs> Scene one, take two. Mark. 
That was a really good cliffhanger on your end, though. Thank you. I like to time my stories. Like, just when the uh, OBGYN thought I was cheating on my husband, ad break. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's a good ad. It's ZocDoc. It's like for Ashley Madison. Actually, you oh, we you could use ZocDoc to find an acupuncturist. <gasps> I shall. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I shall. And they are actually, you'll find really good doctors in network. So this is perfect God for bless. us. Should I just do the ad read right now? <laughs> <laughs> Save some time. No, you and an ad read. That's 35 minutes no, of it's our not. lives. I know all of you are treating yourselves to the best things in life. That morning coffee trip, that extra little snack out that you don't need. Lizzie went and got a snack before Costco the other day. Did she need it? No. Did she want it? Yes. Yeah. Well, if you're treating yourself to all the finest things in life, then why wouldn't you do the same when it comes to your health? That's, it. that's where ZocDoc comes in, the place where you can find and book tens of thousands of top tier doctors, all with verified patient reviews. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. Once you find the doctor you want, you can book them immediately. No more waiting awkwardly on hold with a receptionist. All these doctors have real verified reviews from actual real patients. You can filter specifically for ones who take your insurance, who are located near you and treat basically any condition you're searching for. The typical time to see a doctor booked on ZocDoc is just between 24 and 72 hours. That's it. And you can also even score same day appointments. So like I said, I'm encouraging Lizzie to go see an acupuncturist mm -hmm. that she finds on ZocDoc. I've gone when I'm in Colorado and don't have my regular doctors that I see here in California. I use it and all of you should too. Go to ZocDoc.com slash the sip and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. That's ZocDoc.com slash the sip. ZocDoc.com slash the sip. You, you killed that. Thank you. Should we hit the little round of applause. I think it's yellow. <laughs> nice. Um, anyway, where was I? Oh, I've also complained about my doctor because she never gives me a wipey. Mm -hmm. Like she doesn't give me a wipe to get the gel off my guts or my lady bits. And you've done that on two occasions where we're pretty upset for you. I And this time I was like, fool me twice. You're not going to fool me again, bitch. So I brought wipeys this time when I went and she gave me a wipey. And it's hard to tell if somebody had told her about this podcast and she's now watching yeah. or if that's just how the world works. You finally come prepared after yeah. somebody's doing you wrong and then you get the thing that you've been missing yeah. all this time. She was really nice this appointment too. All that to being said, she made it a point to say in front of Joe, we need to test your glucose, your iron, and see if you have syphilis. And I just was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like she thought she was doing something like telling my husband on me. Like, like he doesn't know. Like I didn't call him when I left your office mortified. God. God. And that's why I think if we can talk about your masturbation on this podcast, you can talk Let's about your wet dreams less. for me. No, we got to use all these words a lot less. <laughs> it's okay if you're having a wet dream for your gay best friend. Is it? Like legally, is it okay? No, I don't think so. The cops are coming. I told you in another lifetime. You're Justin Bieber and I'm Haley. Yes. And I we're love looking that. that fabulous walking into a New York restaurant where she's like looking We look like them right now. Cool. Oh, yeah. Yes. We look like we're the budget version of them. I'm for wearing sure. a Target dress that every time I put on, I get more shit down the front of it because I can't keep my life together. <laughs> like, what is this? Well, you know, she's also feeling all the things. She just like looks perfectly put together what for her date What if she's not? Out. What if she's feeling nothing? Can you imagine? Honestly. If you look that good, you just feel that good? Maybe. Wow. Yeah. Some women, <laughs> maybe she doesn't have bad karma. Maybe I do. Keep your mouth shut, Deborah. No one fucking asked. <laughs> Anyway. Um, do you want to circle back to your Friedman experience or is it like too far too gone? Uh, it's been a long time, but now I feel like they're going to be curious about what my Friedman experience was. Okay. There's a trail in Los Angeles called Friedman Canyon mm -hmm. or tree people, if you will. Depends. You'll see stars like Kaylee Cuoco, Shawn Mendes, Mendes, Hillary Duff, Nicole Richie. Everybody's there. Everybody's there. Ryland Adams has been spotted a few times. It's the non-overtly cool trail. Yeah. Like, Runyon Canyon's that I want to be seen. Yeah. Fryman Canyon's like, I want to hang out with my friends while doing something productive for my body. Yeah. I don't want to be bugged. Yeah. 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 That's where I see J the Josh of Drake and Josh all the time. Right. You should be booking podcast guests for us there. I think about it all the time. You should. I don't know how to not be weird, though. Okay. That being said, there's been a guy lurking on the trail for over a year now. 
And there's a Instagram account that like monitors this guy, like some trails monitor like coyotes and rattlesnakes. There's like an account to monitor this fucking creep because no matter how many police reports are made, it is still legal for this man to stalk women on the trail, I guess. Is there a line? Like he has to do X for the police to actually um, be invested? So I've Sorry, been- Sorry, my phone is like, oh my God. Yeah, check your ankle. Sorry, something's really, like, I don't know why it was vibrating like something was really going wrong. Maybe you've had too many steps. <laughs> Maybe you need to chill. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm cool at my, my, my daily minimum, well, which I'm is cool. also my average is 14,000 right now. Oh, good. If I hit 14, I'm like, whew, we can relax. Oof. Sorry for derailing. No, it's okay. Um, anyway, there's like a creep on the trail. I was a creepy, when I was a shop girl, I had a guy come into the store I worked at and he was really weird with me and I was so uncomfortable. I even called security and had them walk me to my car that night. And then I got a phone call from this guy on my personal cell phone that said aren't you glad that I'm more than a guy that just shows up one day and so I called the police because like no I'm not glad mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm pretty scared and the cop said we can't do anything until he threatens to kill you and even then they can't really do is anything. taking pictures of strange I guess is I, well here, so here's the thing it is not illegal for him to film people without their consent and that's what I was gonna say like not to make this not uh, horrific yeah. but I'm sure like me when you saw Sean Mendez I was like Lizzie take a picture it, yeah is the I know the intentions different it is not really <laughs> <laughs> no but here I will say this like yeah that probably wasn't cool <laughs> <laughs> but I wasn't so so what had happened I'm walking on this trail with my friend and a guy's coming down the trail holding his phone like this and then we walk by and he f follows us with his phone. And I'm just like, I'm pissed. Like I'm fat and pregnant and like wearing a sports bra. And like you said, I'm I'm here to hike with my friend. As, a, as two women too, it's very scary to have a man who is larger than you, m like making you uncomfortable yeah. in a way where he says, your autonomy doesn't matter right now. I'm in charge of you. And you don't... He definitely doesn't know of like your presence on the internet or something. He wasn't. I highly doubt it. He's a creep. Yeah. I mean, okay. I've probably been recognized twice. He, this man did not know who. He's not in the demo. He's probably not a audience <laughs> member. And if he is like, should have said hi, you fucking weirdo. <sighs> anyway. Um, and it freaked me out. You can and also then, feel an energy from people. Like it was weird. And I like, I like since the Tabitha incident have been like I don't really want to be a helpless victim like if you're gonna fuck with me like I want to fuck with you I want to fuck with you right like no this is not just your or at space. least call it out yeah yeah and so I like being aware of the guy on the trail because they've posted about it a lot and Joe has always said that were this to be something that he witnessed uh, happening to another woman he would not have the ability to be cool Right. Like Joe has said, if this were to happen and he saw another woman being objectified like this, he would probably take the guy's phone and throw it in the canyon. And that's what brings me comfort is that trail is packed yeah. most of the time. Yeah. And I hope there would be a Joe in this in the scenario. There have been Joes that like posted about on the Instagram page where like men will notice that this is happening and they will escort the woman back to her car. But it's like that woman's hike is cut short. She's being led home right. and nobody says shit to the guy to the guy that's a creeper that piss and that pisses me off yeah. and that pisses joe off and at the same time i'm fucking seven months pregnant what am i gonna do yeah and with you, a big guy i'm gonna go grab his phone and throw it in the canyon like i can't really do that and you want to feel safe and i want and like and i'm mad like and i'll be more mad if i don't say something and he's clearly filming me and i just turned around and i was like are you fucking filming and he just went, no, and like ran away really fast. And it's like, yeah, you are, you sick fuck. Like that's like all I said. And I feel stupid about what I said. Like I wish I had said something better. You know what I mean? Like you're a fucking creep and you're making me uncomfortable. I mean, like, at least you said something. I know, but like I want to have like that thing in my pocket that I scream where I'm like, you're a degenerate piece of you shit. Pulled out a taser and just started. Tzz, tzz. Someone stole a taser out of my car. Wow. Yeah, crazy, huh? They took yeah. my taser and my Orange Theory fucking fitness armband. <laughs> And then when I went to Orange Theory and I was like, if someone uses my armband, they stole it from Did my you car. Did you cancel that or are you just Oh, being... I canceled it. Okay. Yeah. I was like, it took a paying? few weeks though. And when I say weeks, I mean months. Do you miss it? Every day. Orange Theory saved my life. No, I know. You were, uh, you'd go five times a week. Now Joe least. walks me three miles a day in the heat and it's awful. And then I crumble and I go to bed. 
It's hard life. <laughs> it's almost there. You're almost, We're almost there. there. We're almost there. You're almost there. And um, then... The way that the story ends, though, is we were coming down the mountain. And thankfully, actually, police have started monitoring the area because enough complaints have been made. Because it's been years of this. And sometimes there's a guy that just follows women and says weird things like... I haven't fucked in so long. Like, I'm basically a saint because I haven't had, like, weird sexual... The worst part is people do this trail alone. Yeah. Like, I used to do this trail you know? alone every day. Yeah. And I am I never will now. Honestly, I won't do it alone. And I, to be frank, I don't want to do it without a man. And I know that that sounds awful, but it's like, I don't... Do I qu- qualify? <laughs> yeah, of course you do. Of course you do. <laughs> you think I'm going to run him off? No. So then why would I qualify? Well, I think I'd say I feel something. safer with you. Well, with you, it's harder to say, like, is it a fan? Because sometimes we are together and I do feel like people are filming. Um, I feel like I'd say I can turn pretty Karen-y pretty quick. Right. But if and we as can't a small tell, man, I have like, a, I, like I don't I, I don't feel like a small man sometimes. And I also feel like you and I are kind of like chihuahuas who empower each other. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> like, <laughs> anyway... <laughs> There are police who monitor the area now. So, like, watch your fucking back, weirdo, if you are a audience member. <laughs> and um, so on the way down the trail, I see the police. And I just thought to myself, you know what? I'm going to flag them down and I'm going to say something. And so I just go, hey, guys. And I go over to their car and I say, just so you know, there's a guy on the trail and he's filming women without their consent. And it's making me feel really uncomfortable and scared. And it's weird. Like, it's fucking weird. Yeah. I tell them the whole story. They go, okay, okay. They ask my friend, you, were you there? Did you see it, too? It's like, of course. Of course she was there no, and she, she fucking saw it too dude it's a weird lie yeah and then he goes so unfortunately we can't do anything about it because it's not illegal for him to film you and i'm like okay well you could at least like drive to the parking lot where you know he is right now and be like you're making people uncomfortable stop stop or if you even if you legally can't tell him to stop just say you're making people uncomfortable what are you doing yeah something anything because by the way i pay so many fucking taxes in this fucking state that if i ask you to go tell a guy he's making me uncomfortable go fucking tell him he's making me uncomfortable you fuck piss me off beyond regard or whatever i don't know words anymore because i'm pregnant anyway they drive away my friend shannon and i start walking and then i realize oh my fucking god I'm wearing the I love wiener hat that we got at Wiener Schnitzel. <laughs> so this whole time I've just had a hat on that says I love wiener. <laughs> the cop can't dig And if serious. there's any time that a woman is dressed a certain way to be asking for it, she's wearing a hat that says I love wiener. And it He's talking most- to the cop with a huge I love wiener. This guy's demoralizing, filming me. Demoralizing. Regardless of the hat I'm wearing, you have no right to film I told without you my that You need numbers if you're going to wear that hat. Yeah, you really you do. You do. Like, Ugh. it needs to be at least one plus other people. I just, people. like, it was fun in the day, and now I think we need to burn them because they're ruining my <laughs> life. <laughs> And no matter what, I stand by what I said. Don't fucking film me, bro. Uh, good, good, good. Um, yeah, there's no escaping. I know nobody likes when we talk about Taylor Swift, but there's just no escaping her or her bringing him it out was on a stage. Big Taylor Swift weekend. Uh, and honestly, even I'm annoyed because I feel like I'm reliving football season. The press is like we're in football season right, right now. But those are what the articles. It was the Eras tour are, in London. The royal fucking family was there living their best lives travis fucking kelsey was out on stage as a surprise guest performing with his lady tom cruise was in the audience like it was a big eras tour day it was a big eras tour day no, what are we supposed to do you guys i understand it's just like the it's real, all the, the media is the talking endless about endless headlines and i know like nothing else is going on like we couldn't find anything else to talk about either it's, kylie jenner feels bad that we talk about her looks and taylor what Swift. podcast was that on no it's just on all the outlets it's like i know but did it stem from her on a podcast no it stemmed from her on her show oh she cr- started crying on i the tried show. again this weekend it's so boring i didn't even i couldn't even watch courtney deliver this baby i tried again i i've tried three times and i haven't made it through the first episode and i'm like god I, like yeah. for such beautiful people how can they have nothing going on and can you believe i paid 18.99 to watch the gypsy rose blanchard show and i just also can't sit through a fucking episode really that i can sit through it's better than the kardashians but the way that they're they're milking this footage well it's a little it, so it's the craziness of somebody who, who's been in jail her whole adult life yeah. navigating a new world plus an episode of love is blind she's sweet you as know? can be 
and they need to speed it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, for fuck's sake. Did, yeah. They say it, they say it again, they say it a third time, and then they say it again. Of and, course. And then it's an hour <laughs> of them saying the same thing, and then it's over. And yet I'm still having a great time. Um, uh, um, and then the only other thing was just the Justin Timberlake stuff that went down this well, weekend. Well, so Justin Timberlake was arrested for a DUI before we recorded our show last week. And one of the most depressing elements to come out of this is as he's being arrested he says to the arresting officer or like under his breath or whatever he goes this is going to be pretty bad for the world tour no he said this is going to ruin the tour and the cop says what what tour tour? the world tour yeah you're so mean for laughing there's no i think just no i think this is the most in a horrible way because i do not stand by drunk driving i think if you've even had a drink just get an uber and especially with all the access to everything in the world justin get a fucking driver like so irresponsible you have kids you have a wife other people on the road have families it's just so stupid yeah but it's like it's it's uh, he's never had more attention on him. I think if anything, the ticket sales are going to go upward. Well, I, it's also like for him to like all the th- all the risks that you mentioned in regards to drunk driving, including like loss of people's lives. Yes, your biggest concern is the, the world, world tour. tour. Um, fuck you. But I also think like he's had such a gnarly fall from grace these past few years that it's like it's just it's honestly like I think it's really coming to a head for him and he's realizing it. And uh, at his show this last weekend, he was like, you know, life comes at you hard and fast. And sometimes you turn left when you meant to turn right. And you just you got a problem with stuff and things. And it was just like a sad little speech. He's like, but you guys fuck with me. You guys keep fucking with me. And it was just that was post DUI. Yeah. Oh, wow. Just telling his whole audience, like, thanks for fucking with me, even though I'm a mess. What is Jessica Bill thinking? I think she's mad mad. (laughs) <laughs> word on the street is she's like are you fucking kidding me justin i mean yeah that's embarrassing like to, he's been embarrassing. to have your fault fa- to have your husband the father of your children getting a dui it's embarrassing yeah but like all these clips that come out about him like post him the like the shit about britney and like everyone mm-hmm. hating him because of the britney stuff it's like all these clips it's like bro you've been embarrassing and it sucks. I was always a Backstreet Boy girl. Oh, I was always just a pop star girl. I liked all the girls. Yeah. Um. Okay. Should we get to one advice question or no? We have well, so much to do. I'm so full of pee pee right now. I've had these on the document for 300 years. Let's definitely do that while we get in the car. Like this woman that says she's a virgin is probably no longer a virgin. How long it's been on this document? Oh, we better get to it in the car then. Okay. We'll see. I you have guys to piece soon. about it. it. Hurts. I'm actually pretty excited because we're going to Del Taco. I love Del Taco. And I haven't been to a Del Taco since. I've been in Colorado. Like, I didn't know there were even Del Tacos here. Oh, yeah. the first, Joe took me to Del Taco. They've got crinkle cut fries, dude. And they have, um, right now they have funnel fries. <gasps> Fuck off. Like dessert. Like funnel cake? Funnel like cake at a fries. Fair, at a fair? I've never had funnel cake. Really? Yes. It's delicious. I'm so lit on this shit. All right. We're going to see you in the car soon. Do Bye. you want to put that in your mouth? <laughs> we got to remember to transition. All right, girls. We oh. have made it to Del taco and we are ready to live it up i am honestly here for like i mentioned the funnel cake fries but i also want to get a couple of items to just explore the menu for lunch because it is 1 30 oh i was just saying it's lunchtime and um, i'm hungry but i'm starving do you have a go-to del taco order i don't me either but i do feel like i could go for a crunchy freaking taco right now Tbh, mm. I'm not a crunchy taco girl, but I am excited to see what their crunchy taco has to offer through I you. I think it's like a good, simple, like their cheese tastes like cheese taco. Which way is the entrance? It feels like this feels way. Feels like it was not this way. No, there's an arrow in. The van oh. was making us feel like it wasn't this way. <sighs> way to go, Odyssey. Oh my gosh. Have you done some research into mommy mobiles? No, we just got the bigger Tesla. Oh, we were yeah. literally just talking about that inside <laughs> of this. What? Whoa, what? nacho cheese. I don't have my glasses on. What are those? Are those nacho fries? Are they? The top one is nacho yes. cheese fries. Nacho cheese fries. Their nacho, their regular nachos honestly look better, but I feel like the fr- the crinkly fries are more like we have to try it. The crinkle cut fries here are fucking delicious. We're definitely trying the crinkle uh, cut, cut nacho fries. Yeah, we have to. Canoga Lakes? Oh, I thought that... Oh, it's 
a like housing complex. I thought it was something we could walk around because there's a gorgeous fountain. No, we can't walk around anything right now. It's 95 degrees out. Is it really? Yes. It says 99. Girl, that's why I said that guy was overdressed. He had pants on in this heat. Oh Take my your God. Pants off. It's too hot for pants. At my house, which is a little closer to the ocean, is 10 degrees cooler than here. Yeah, it's too fucking hot. We're bro. in the deepest part of the valley. A snickerdoodle shake? Girl. 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 Oh my girls. Always. The funnel cake fries are back. Hello, could I get uh, the nacho cheese fries? Nacho cheese fries, okay. Could I get the funnel cake fries? Okay. What would you like? Just two crunchy tacos, please. Two crunchy tacos, please. Two snack tacos, okay. Could I also get um, a small of that snickerdoodle shake? Oh, shit. Uh, we have regular lunch. Just regular. Okay. And then, what's your most popular taco? I mean, the Del Taco is the most popular. Okay, and then I'll just get one of those uh, soft Del Taco taco. A soft Del Taco, okay. And that should be good. All right, so I'm gonna be 17, 45, see the window. Thank you. Can we talk about how affordable that was? I'm just still looking at the menu. Like, did I miss out on a burrito that was gonna be really good? I honestly feel like if we had ordered all that at Taco Bell, it would have been $76. It was cost effective, and the I've never had um, a drive through employee be that nice to me at a Taco Bell. Yeah. I love Taco Bell. Let me clarify, but this experience so far has been better. You making this drive with the window down could make me sick. Well, now it's gotta be down. I know. It's hot. Good, how are you? Okay. Thank you. Everybody. Wow, she couldn't be any cuter. Yeah. Oh wow, that was fast for that shake. Could I get one more straw? Do you mind asking for an ice water? And could I also get an ice water? I'm sorry. It's just so hot today. Thank you. Woo! Wait, oh. What is this? Thank you. Snickers? This, a snicker doodle shake. Maybe we should just doodle. take the lid off. Yeah, that was a good idea. A snicker doodle shake. What's the doodle part? I don't know, but show it off to the people. Ooh, I think it's Bring like. Bring it close. I think it's like. Oh, snicker doodle like the cinnamon fucking cookie. Oh. I thought it meant like Snickers. I honestly thought it meant Snickers too. We're probably gonna need more. Yeah, I was gonna say we don't feel we don't feel lit. Mmm. It's like big, an horchata. Big chunks. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Any hot sauce? Um, sure. Could I get a variety? Just like a hot and medium? Oh my god. That's pretty good. Thank you. you, guys. Thank you. Bye, -bye. Thank you. Bye. Oh my god. The chunks. Oh my god. Oh my so god. Is that like. Um, that was good. It's those cinnamon cookies. Yes, it is. It yeah. almost tastes like the Cinnabite, the Cinnabite twist from. Uh, yes. From. Taco, Taco Bell, Bell. Yeah. really finely crunched up. But even better consistency because it's not soggy. Because there's crunches of cookie in that milkshake. I gotta have one more sip of this. Yeah, that's delicious. Mm. Mm. The way that they're able to get the big crunchies. I'm glad they gave you a big old straw so you can get the in the bites. Mm -hmm. The bites and the sipes. Oh my gosh. Oh, that last one seemed dramatic. It's just really good. Do you want me to read about this girl's virginity? Um, or should we make her wait another week? <laughs> <laughs> she's she's gonna, like, I'm so fucking horny! She's gonna be wait. Oh my gosh. You're kidding me. <gasps> the funnel cake Oh my god, fries. everything smells so divine. Will you open the those? Ah! Oh my god, this smells like... Buffalo wings, almost. Ooh, child, things are gonna get cheesier. Are you thumbing? Yeah, <laughs> but it also made me sing. Mm. Should we do the dessert for dessert? Yeah. Oh, and that's the soft taco. I thought there was gonna be a sauce with the funnel fries, honestly. I did too. I thought it was gonna come with like dip and stuff. That did you show them what how this is just like drenched in cheese? Yeah, I sang about it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel like you needed to get closer and open this. Mm -hmm. Woo! 
I'm a little shocked at the lack of ingredients, though. Ooh, wait, it's perfect. You didn't. You don't think there should be a, a little more uh -uh. anything? Don't talk shit. The simplicity is mm. elegance, right? I love a jalapeno. I know you do. Mm. It's one of my biggest turn-ons. I don't know. I think I could use a little bit of sour cream, guacamole. Fully load it. Mm -hmm. That's fine. I was, to be honest, I don't know why I was expecting bacon bits. Do you, uh, see, I think it could be loaded a little more. Is there a loaded option that we just missed? Um, I don't know. I can't really see. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to explore their crunchy taco? I would love to. Thank you for asking. I'm going to explore their soft taco. So we get two ends of the spectrum here. Cheers. Cheers. Dang, yours came with tomatoes? Whoa. Whoa, See, whoa. This what's is on kind yours? Of, I was expecting more of this on the... What's on yours? So it's ground beef. Yeah. Cheese, tomato, lettuce. No sour cream, which is a little alarming. Mine's just cheese and lettuce and beef. No sour cream on either of ours. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. still box. It doesn't feel as salty as Taco Bell, which I like. It feels a little more homemade. Like a little more wholesome. Yeah. Mm. Watch Shane Dawson does a conspiracy theory on it, and it is just Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> Did you need any hot sauce for your taco? Mm-mm. Mm, 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 mm. What's this one? Mild sauce. Oh shit. I got cheese in my titties. Mm. Wow. Mm. I love just a soft taco like this. You are a soft taco king. I'm mm -hmm. a crunchy galley. Well, the crunchy isn't practical for my life. Why? Because I normally Postmate or DoorDash mm. the Taco Bell or the Del Taco and they're soggy and falling apart by the time it gets to me. But also, if I'm in the drive-thru, I just stick with the soft. Because mm. you're accustomed to it. I could put the jalapeno inside of the taco. I was though. just thinking that. I'm trying to stay away from some spicy food because it makes the baby hiccup, and it's a just a crazy feeling. Isn't that wild that your baby can hiccup in there? Yeah, it's gross. <laughs> mm. Is right. Mm. <sighs> These fries... Are doing it right, keeping it tight. Okay, here you go. Virgin. I titled that. Virgin. Hey, you guys. I'm a woman in her almost 27th year on earth, and I'm still a virgin. I have nobody to openly discuss this with, and I'm not sure if it's normal for me to still be a virgin or not, because most people give me the impression that there's something mentally wrong with people who haven't lost their V-card until 20 years of age, at the least. It's something I think about a lot by myself, and I always get stuck replaying it, and it gives me anxiety. I'm not pretty or liked by anyone, Aww. don't really have a friend group, and it gets to a point that I start preparing myself for always being lonely without a partner, etc. My question is for Ryland. How do you deal with Shane? Oh. That's a different... Well, there was no break. <laughs> Sorry. That's on me. <laughs> um, I think there should be no shame as long as you're on your own timeline. If you're feeling like... Uh, you're missing out and you want to explore something, I think you need to start putting yourself out there in a way that uh, you'll be able to meet somebody. you got to open yourself up to the universe if that's something you're searching for. Um, but I don't think you should be ashamed by it by any means. I think everyone's on their own timeline with everything in life. And just because it's like there's a social norm, oh, fuck it. Who cares? Averages are also based off of ranges of numbers. So you have to remember that just because there's an average, this average is based off of a billion motherfuckers. So I would ask you, are you in your head because of what's surrounding you or the internet or exterior factors? Or are you in your head because you feel like you're missing out on something you're actively seeking? And if you feel like you're missing out on something you're seeking, I think you need to open yourself up to the universe. I think you need to put yourself out there if you're not for dating apps. And I'm sure that you're not ugly. And I'm sure that you can have friends. I think you just need to put yourself in situations where you open yourself up to that. Also, when I was 27, I felt very similarly. Like, I did not like myself, and I didn't think people could like me because of that. And something that happens and shifts when you settle into yourself, and your whole world opens up. 
when you finally decide like, oh, I do like me, like, oh, I like the way that I look because of X, Y, or Z quality that nobody else possesses but me. Also, looks fade, and I know that it's like annoying to hear that, but people aren't always, like, people don't look the same way their entire life. And not everyone's searching solely for looks. No. Like, a lot of people want to be stimulated mentally. Yeah. Like, you know? Yeah. And the second you accept yourself as you are, this inner light, like, bursts on, and it's infectious, and people can't help but want to be around you. And that's when you start noticing, oh, these are the people I like being around. And then when you're around people that you also like being around, all of a sudden, hey, maybe I want to fuck this dude. I always think the way to go is follow your hobbies and make it a social thing. So if you like reading, go to the library, join a book club. If you like fitness, start going to yoga and you'll find like-minded people. And it's inevitable that if you're open when you're at those places, you'll find friends, but there's also the potential for a partner. I think you just have to start opening yourself up to uh, the world around you. I've heard of plenty of 27 year old virgins. By really? The way. Yeah, I have. Like, a lot. It's not that fucking infrequent. No, and I would never feel bad about it unless you feel bad about it. You know, like, I don't think you're weird or no. crazy. I think it's like you respected your, yourself enough to not just lose your virginity to lose your virginity. Maybe you're waiting for, like, somebody that it will mean something with. Yeah, also, mad respect to anyone who just lost their virginity to just lose their virginity. Me. Yeah. I mean, I, I enjoyed it, but... I also, like, I was like, I've got to do this because yeah. it was killing me. I was like, I have this, like, ticking thing where it's like, I'm dying to know. I'm curious. We have to hit these funnel fries. Holy shit. Me first? Well, both of us at the same time. Okay, I'm scared. As a person who's never had funnel cake, I don't know if we can, like... <sighs> it smells infectious. It smells like a funnel cake. It smells like the fair, bro. Mmm. Oh my god, oh my god, you guys. Mm. This is fucking funnel fries. The consistency, the texture is perfection. I am missing a little more substance, whether that be I want to dip it in like some strawberry. Strawberry, more of the powder they have oh, on top. Fuck. It needs a little more of the dressing. No, but it's so good, honestly. It's not like I'm not even that upset about it not having anything else. Mm. Honestly, there is just the right amount of like sweetness on top of this perfectly crispy fried dough that's still soft yeah literally pizza hut could never with their yucky donut bites that took forever that were just like little coals mm. these fucks these really all of these fucks i'm happy with everything we did here today even though i know it's gonna make me sick on the drive home wow mm -hmm. honestly this was a great time fuck me up french fries mm. this nacho cheese it could fuck yeah dude it really can fuck. And these jalapenos have lots of seeds. Mm-hmm. They're spicy as hell. Mm-hmm. I'm wishing I would have gotten two tacos at this point. Do you want my crunchy? No. You Don't you want it? I've been going ham on this shit. I don't need to have another crunchy. Can I have tacos. a bite of it? Yeah, of course. Hold on. Do you want me to grab it? Mm -hmm. Give me 10 minutes. <laughs> wow, these funnel fries are good. Crunch into that taco, bruh. Okay, let me, this will be nice for me to compare. It's already lacking it's on ingredients. It's just so good, so. Simpl simply. Are my knees getting converted? <laughs> mm. I don't like the sound of that. Mm. What do you mean? It needs a little sour cream. You're done. It's good and simple. It's simple. Not every taco needs sour cream. <laughs> And I'm a person who gets the Taco Supreme at Taco Bell. Mm. I mean, it's not bad. Mmm! Ooh! Is it weird that it almost feels, like, too healthy? I know it's not because it's like a taco. It's a lot of cheese and lettuce and stuff, but... And there's probably a lot of microfibers or microplastics But it doesn't taste cheese. like I'm just eating sugar. Well, I wouldn't... Uh, uh, salt. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Something about Del Taco hits different. Mm. You know, and I don't know if it's just because it's the underdog or if it's really just hitting the spot. Why is it the underdog? Is it the underdog or are we just sheltered? I mean, in LA, it's definitely the underdog because Del Tacos aren't a plenty here. Right, we like, have to go to Burbank to get Del Taco. I didn't even know there was a Del Taco by me. Well, it feels like we drove for a long time to get here, huh? 
23 minutes. 20 minutes. That was a zero, not a three. Sorry. It's a really confusing <laughs> zero. <laughs> this is the fight. <laughs> wow. Well, this was fun. This was really fun. I hope you guys all have a fabulous week. Uh-huh. And we will do this again next Wednesday. Oh, my God. And what? if you like watching us eat, head over to my vlog channel. Because <gasps> me and this motherfucker are chowing down. And subscribe, you guys. I see a lot of people watching your channel that aren't subscribed to you. How do you know? Well, because you get more views than you have subscribers. What's up with that? What's up with that? What's up with that? And while you're subscribing to people, go subscribe to this channel, too. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank Honestly. You guys. No, <laughs> and thank you guys. I cannot believe this podcast is still chugging along Dude, the way that it is. it's been four years. And honestly, it's doing better than ever, really. Like, it's more also, consistently better than ever. I will also say, oh, damn, I got cheese on your car. That's fine. I'm sorry, buddy. You're trying to sell this. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to sell this one. Oh, okay, good. Um, this is also, like, one of the funnest projects I've ever worked on. It's very fun. Yeah. And so the fact that you guys, like show up every week watch it every week a lot of you are like ready at 9 14 when it drops to like have a good time on wednesday we're just it never misses us we we're so no. appreciative and also for those of you who are sharing your pregnancy journeys with me on the internet in the comment section i am reading those comments very cool i fucking love you guys we're gonna make it through and we're gonna push these little fuckers out actually i'm not planning to push i'm gonna let the universe <laughs> Have him just shoot out my cooter on the way to the car on the way to the hospital. That's my birth plan right now. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much. Uh, we'll see you next Wednesday. We love you very much. Goodbye. And, and that's, that's the sip. sip. <sighs> Sorry to interrupt. Did you eat a jalapeno I had sequestered over here? It's right there. No, there was one that had no seeds in it. Did you? Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Is it there? That's so embarrassing. <laughs> I've just been biting off this little one and I thought you took it from me. Wish I'd waited until we stopped rolling You pushed out the seeds and then you're just chomping on the sides. Uh -huh. Wow, those funnel fries, fuck. Mm.